about someone that I told him in the commercial break. I got to interview Billy Crystal, probably it. when I first started. So he needs to go in the archives to dig that up. That I was really about do. 14 years ago. The kindest man. The interview went on like 11 minutes. So it was supposed to be five. He's such a mensch. Yesterday he turned <laughs> 75, famed Oscars host, comedian, actor. He's done all the things. And he had this side by side of him and Harry, Harry when Harry met Sally. Margot Wood is an author. Let's look right back at Margot. Look real quick. at how great. She did it as well. This is a scene from when Harry met Sally. He's written a Stephen King novel and he retweeted this and he said, Love this. Oh, that is so cute. We also heard from Broadway. Last year he was nominated for a Tony for his work on Mr. Saturday Night, which was a movie in the early 90s, yeah. a box office bomb. He brought it back for a stage adaptation. It worked out. That's incredible. I, yeah, I was like, I kind of don't remember that movie because it was not good. But exactly. Good but for around him. that same era, he starred with Meg Ryan in this ultimate rom com classic. Let's take a look at the end where I feel like any girl out there would want a speech from oh my a guy god. in love. I can't. Oh my god. I love that you get cold when it's 71 degrees out. I love that it takes you an hour and a half to order a sandwich. I love that you get a little crinkle above your nose when you're looking at me like I'm nuts. I love that after I spend a day with you, I can still smell your perfume on my clothes. And I love that you are the last person I want to talk to before I go to sleep at night. Yes, please. I just needed to take that in again. Whew, here's what they look like today. This is just a few years back of their 30th anniversary of when Harry met Sally. We love oh, you both. Oh, God, I love that. Happy okay. birthday. Okay, on our Facebook page and at ATL Co., we have the most annoying and the worst behaved baseball fans in all of America. Where do the Braves rank? They're number eight. Uh, interesting. Kind of eight on both of those rankings. Thank you to Crestline for sharing. Sorry for this rough gift, but I love that Luda is doing the tomahawk <laughs> chop. Exactly. But I feel like the, the top rankings are actually um, uh, Yankees. Red Sox and Phillies, but I feel like the top 10 are all just really good teams. Okay? Right, right. It's not like we're annoying, we're not worse behaved. Right. Here's a look at today's lineup. Of course, we're in spring training, but on March 31st, it's opening day. Yes. And for the first time since 1968, all teams are actually playing on that day. Wow, good trick. Little sports factoid. Little, who are you right now? I oh, love it. Local congratulations to Mr. Justin Bolson. Take a look at him. He's a freshman at Brown University, but he's a Canton, Georgia grad. Brad, a Granta, Georgia native, <laughs> yeah. and he won the high school reunion tournament on Jeopardy late Yay. last week. He won 38,000 plus bucks, and we're so proud of him. And congrats to our sweepstakes winner, David Robinson. He took home the Sham Zazam sweepstakes. That's amazing, yes. And he came to pick it up right here at 11 Alive. Guys, thank you for tuning in on this fabulous day. Enjoy it.